the plant-based egg. This is something that I've been trying to nail since the beginning of this channel, really. Just Egg was one of the very first taste tests that I've done. They actually sent it to me as a trial. I was really excited about that. But ever since then, I've thought, how the heck do they make it and can I make it at home? Now, I've made a few different mung bean eggs. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But one of the things that I was really excited to see recently was that finally there is a distributor of mung bean protein. Now, once I saw this on Amazon, I went ahead and ordered it. This is just a standard mung bean protein. It's not a mung bean protein isolate. Uh, so there's a little bit more carbohydrates in this than an isolate would have. Uh, so this might be just a little bit denser of a protein than a pure protein isolate, like what I made in my last mung bean video. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos where I used either mung bean or I extracted proteins from a mung bean to make an egg, I will say that the mung bean eggs are always some of the best eggs. Maybe probably not too distant off would be the pumpkin seed egg. I'll leave links to all of those down in the description so that way you can check those videos out. And I'll also leave it in the card. This card will just be floating up here the whole video. Whenever you get bored and done with this video, just click on this one up here. I just wanna give a shout out to Zayad on Twitter for letting me know that uh, this was available. So first thing we're gonna start off is with our mung bean protein. Okay, we're gonna start with five tablespoons of protein powder. Now first, let's add our binders and our ingredients that we need to make this uh, protein powder into an egg. The first thing that we're gonna be using is tapioca starch. That's gonna kind of help tighten everything up, kind of hold it together, give us a little bit more denser of a bite. We only need about a half of a teaspoon here. Half teaspoon xanthan gum, half teaspoon soy lecithin. This is gonna hold all of the ingredients together and make it separate a little bit less. It's gonna make it an easier egg. One teaspoon methyl cellulose. Now the methyl cellulose is part of an emulsifier, but it's also part of a binder and it's gonna help firm the egg up while you cook it. Half teaspoon kappa carrageenan. Just gonna give this a quick whisk. Now let's add our one cup of water. Now I'm just gonna use a hand mixer with just one beater attached. While we beat that on high, I'm gonna be adding one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna be slowly adding that one tablespoon uh, to the mixture here, just so that way it all emulsifies in together. Now at this point, we have our very thick, very foamy mixture. That's part of the soy lecithin. I hope I say that right. Everybody always gets me, gets on me about that one. But it is almost like a thick cream mixture at this point. This is pretty good. Let's add our flavorings. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add water, probably about a quarter cup more water uh, to bring this into like a pourable, more egg-like consistency. For our flavorings, we have a half teaspoon onion powder, half teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon black salt, and a half teaspoon sugar. Now at this point, all we're gonna do is just whip these guys in on a slower speed while I'm just gently kind of adding in a little bit more water. Shouldn't be any more than like a quarter cup to a half cup more water. I'm just gonna cover this up, let it sit in the fridge for at least an hour. The methyl cellulose, the kappa carrageenan, all that needs to hydrate up. So we're gonna let it sit for at least an hour. If you let yours sit overnight, it's probably gonna come together even better. Hey gang, I wanna tell you a little bit about today's sponsor. Fetch Rewards is an incredibly easy to use and fun app where you earn rewards on literally anything you buy. Scan any receipt or e-receipt and you will earn points no matter where you shop or what you buy. You then redeem those points for hundreds of rewards, including Amazon and Visa gift cards. It is so fun, I love this app. For me, I'm literally at the grocery store almost every single day buying something for this channel, so scanning every one of these receipts has gotten me so many great rewards. And it's really wild how you can use receipts from grocery stores, retail stores, restaurants. It really is anything. And it's super easy. All you do is just scan the points using the camera on your mobile phone. It literally takes seconds. You don't have to worry about where the receipt's from. You just scan it and it works. For me, because I always have to order so much stuff, I love the Amazon rewards. That's probably one of my favorite parts because I can just take the rewards from here, throw it into my Amazon and get the stuff that I need for the show. So gang, click the link in the description below and use code SAUSTASH to get 4,000 points when you scan your first receipt. So download the app, use code SAUSTASH and get 4,000 points when you scan your first receipt. It's that easy. This is a limited time offer, so make sure you jump on this now. Thanks Fetch for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so at this point, it's been about, about an hour or so. We have ourselves our egg. So all we're gonna do is just throw this into a dry skillet, bring the heat all the way up on high. Once you see the mixture start to bubble and boil, bring the heat all the way down to a low. You can even turn it off depending on your heat. 
and then start scrambling. Once you have it scrambled, transfer it over to a plate, give it just a few minutes, and then, oh my gosh, you have yourselves a vegan egg made from mung beans. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. That's a pretty good egg. Pretty excited about that. Now this is just my first version using that mung bean protein and it came out pretty good. It's not as fluffy as your normal egg would be. It's a little bit denser and it has maybe just a slight grain to it. Now that very well could have been the fact that I only let it sit in the fridge for an hour. I'm gonna test overnight and see what it does. I'll let you know in the comments below. It could also be something that's very different with the protein. We might have to add more protein, less protein, more liquid, less liquid. This mixture was fairly dense compared to any of the other mung beans, uh, mung bean eggs that I've made in the past, even when I made my own mung bean protein. Um, so I'm gonna kind of experiment around. This isn't the last version you're gonna see of this mung bean protein egg. You can still try it out. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty eggy. And I don't think it's that bad. I think it's pretty good. A really cool addition might be to add in some like silken tofu or something thicker into the mix. I think if you were to add maybe a little bit less protein and a more creamier substance, you might end up getting a more fluffy egg. I think that's what's gonna give us that fluffy egg versus kind of like the denser potato-y egg that we have right now. <laughs> all in all, this is pretty awesome.